In today's video, we'll check out some responsive website design testing tools you should use. The first responsive testing tool on the list is right inside your Chrome browser. Right click on any website and press inspect. Once the inspect window opens, you'll see the icon for devices next to the button that says elements. The keyboard shortcut is control shift M. When you click on the devices button, your screen shows the website you're on at different breakpoints. You can input specific sizes or choose from an entire list of different devices. And you can even rotate your device by clicking the button at the top. Responsive test tool is like most responsive testing websites. Simply insert the URL to get started. This tool has a long list of preset device sizes to choose from. If you need another size, you can choose the custom size measurements. When you want to refresh, simply click on the check button. There's also a button to toggle scrolling capabilities in the testing window, as well as a rotate button. Design Moto is a website and email builder with a free responsive test tool as part of their site. Simply insert the URL and hit enter. This tool has the option to drag at the bottom right to change your viewport size really quickly. The only setback is that the measurements the tool shows are by resolution, not by the viewport, which can get a little confusing. Screenfly is another website with the same responsive testing features. Simply enter your URL and hit enter. For this site though, the presets are a little outdated. As you can see, they have the iPhone 6 and 7, and that's about it. The tool still works fine and has a custom size feature, the ability to refresh, rotate, and disable scrolling. Responsinator is still one of the most popular, probably because it looks so cool. When you add a URL, it shows the site in a number of different mobile devices in both vertical and horizontal layouts. And this tool is practical for quick checks in the most common devices, but it's limited if you wanna check all the breakpoints. And my responsive is similar to Responsinator in that it shows the test site in a set number of devices. The upside for this tool is that you can screenshot the results and use it for your portfolio. Also, each screen is scrollable independently. And finally, Pixel Tuner is a site similar to Responsinator as well. Paste in the URL and hit enter. The tool only shows six screen sizes, but they are a good selection. With these six sizes, you can be pretty sure that you've covered all the bases. The only ones missing are the larger screen sizes above 1500 pixels. And there you go. You can check out the full list with all the links by going to the blog post linked in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.